let us look at to the example based on the method of resolution of the force so here find the resultant of uh, following coplanar concurrent forces that is acting at point o so here this is point o and the different type of uh, forces are acting so here 20 newton 10 newton 60 newton 50 newton 40 newton and the 30 newton with respect to the different angle according to the x as well as the y axis now if you want to find out the resultant of this much forces and the direction of that particular resultant so to require to use a fundamental of a resolution of a force so let us try to solve it so for the solution first of all we have to resolve the force one by one along the x axis and the y axis so here we consider x axis and the y axis now let us start with force number one that is 10 newton now there are two components of this 10 newton force first we take a x component so 15 degree is the angle between the force and the x axis so the component pertaining to the x axis that is 10 cos theta or we can say that 10 cos 15 so let us write down also we finally make a summation of that all the forces so the first component of 10 newton that is 10 cos 15 degree right now if we take a second force that is 20 newton now what is the component according to the x so if you use the sine angle so here we can also write down plus 20 sine now what is the angle so here angle is 0 degree because that is perfectly parallel to a y-axis or you can say that is on the y-axis that's why theta is equal to 0 now if we take a 30 newton force and try to resolve with this x-axis so again we write down now this is in direction of the minus x-axis so we use the minus sign here that is 30 sine degree is 30 if you use sine here this is our angle now further go for a 40 newton force so that is along the x axis so for that we can write down but that is in minus x axis so that is 40 cos now what is that angle again angle would be a zero degree now if we take a 50 newton force and that we try to resolve with the x axis so the component of that force with respect to x that is 50 cos 45 now plus is a sign because that is along the x axis so 50 cos 45 and the last force that we consider 60 newton and try to resolve according to the x so that is also in line with a positive x so that is 60 and the angle we are using given between x, this force and the y so that's why we use sine here and that is 60 degree now if we sort out this so the answer would be 9.66 plus 0 minus 15 and minus 40 plus 35.36 plus 51.96 
if you will solve this using your calculator so the final answer will be 41.98 when you can also write down a unit so you can put here a Newton is the unit of this all the forces that's why the summation of all the forces with respect to x axis that is also in Newton same way if you pick up a second direction and make a summation of the component of the forces along the y direction so we start with again 10 Newton with respect to the y so that is 10 sine 15 degree okay 10 sine we use this angle that is 15 degree again for the 20 that is directly go towards the minus y direction so that is 20 cos again same way that is 0 degree then 30 that is resolved along the y but in positive y so that is uh, with positive sign 30 cross 30 cos 30 degree and uh, next one that is 40 sine again a 0 degree because this is already in with respect to the x axis so there will be no theta and again 50 that is along the y axis positive y that is 50 and we write down sine here with 45 degree because we want to resolve with y axis but this force make angle with respect to the x axis and if we want to use this angle so we use here sine and if we find out this angle and if we want to use this angle we can also write down cos both are equal and the last force that is 60 newton that is in minus y direction so that is 60 cos 60 degree now if you solve that so summation of the, all the force component along the y axis that is 2.59 minus 20 plus 25.98 plus 0 plus 35.36 minus 30 so the whole summation of the forces that would be 13.93 newton along the y direction so here we take a uh, first the force component along the x direction and the force component along the y direction so here this is the component related to the x of that 10 newton force second one is the component that is of 20 newton force third is the component that is of a 30 newton force so that is this one and this one and the fourth one that is again a 40 newton so this is a resolution of that 40 newton force next one is uh, 50 newton so this one is for the 50 newton force and the last one that is of a 60 newton force so that is this one so we show that with the color coding so you can understand very easily and these are our final answers let me just give numbers number one and number two so number one is the summation of all the forces along x direction 
and number two is the summation of all the force components along the y direction now further we want to find out the resultant of that forces so here we are going to use the equation of the magnitude of resultant that is r is equal to under root of sigma fx square plus sigma fy square so whatever the value we got here that we required to put in this equation so that's why r is equal to if you put these two values here and then find out the solution of that that value would be 44.23 newton but this is only a magnitude so our third answer will be only a magnitude of that resultant but for the direction if we want to find out so considering the alpha angle and uh, that will make with the x axis so that would be tan inverse summation of fy divided by summation of fx and that equals to if we want to write down so put the value of fy and fx here so tan inverse values are 13.93 divided by 41.98 so that's turn out to be 18.36 degree so now we have uh, all the answers available so third and the fourth that is the answer of the magnitude of the resultant and the its direction so looking to this answers we have to try to locate that resultant in this four system so that will make a 18.36 degree with respect to the x so our resultant is so a resultant is fall at this particular location and we can write down this is our angle that resultant will make with the x axis that is 18.36 degree and the value of that resultant would be 44.23 newton so this way we can uh, produce our resultant with uh, magnitude and direction in a graphical way so this is all about a example related to a resolution of a force